Watch this. That was done by fiddling around with the camera to get the correct exposure. If you want to know how that's done, keep watching. Play the intro. Hello, I'm Juan Navedo, and this is the first episode I'm doing completely unscripted. I couldn't put the episode, or any future episode, all, uh, I couldn't put it off any further because they have started renovation in the department below me. So you're going to hear all types of noise. I'm going to try and talk above it. Now, so forget. On today's episode, we're going to talk about exposure and the three different settings on your camera that you have to fiddle around with in order to get the correct exposure. I'm going to break the explanation of how to get the correct exposure into three different parts. Each option is going to get it its own episode. Shutter, f-stop, and ISO. I'm going to take you to a clip of me fiddling around with the options so you can see what it is that it takes to get the correct exposure and me purposely messing things up so you can see what settings does what. Uh, and on the next three episodes, everything is going to get an explanation individually so you can better understand what shutter does, what the f-stop does, and what ISO does. Must be lunchtime. For this exercise, I am using a 50 millimeter lens set at f-stop 1.8, made evident by the fact that the end of the saber is out of focus while the tip is in focus. Now say I wanted the entire saber in focus. I would have to decrease the f-stop, which means the number goes higher. I know that's odd, but that's the way of things. So as I decrease the f-stop, which means the number goes higher, you can see that the entire saber is starting to come into focus. However, I am losing light. So the image is getting darker because the iris is closing. To compensate for that, I increase the ISO to the point where I'm getting good exposure. However, as you can see in the footage, it is introducing a lot of noise. So at F8, more of the saber is now in focus. Here I am now increasing the f-stop, which means the number is going down to f1.8. Wanted to show you guys here at f1.8 how small of an area is in focus. I focus at different parts of the saber so you can pretty much see the imaginary lines that make up the in-focus area. This is why a lot of cinematographers always suggest to have a lot more light. Here I return the ISO back to 100. The f-stop is again at 1.8 and I decide to focus on the tip of the saber. At the time of shooting this I had a two-point light system. My third light has not shipped yet. If I had the third light I could pretty much get away with a 3.2 to maybe 4.0 f-stop at 100 ISO. I did not mess with the shutter speed because for video, your shutter speed should always be double what your frame rate is. So if you are shooting at 29.97 frames per second or 30 frames per second, your shutter speed should be at 1 60th. But I will get more on shutter speed on the next episode as that is the first of three parts of the exposure love triangle. So correctly manipulating those three settings to get you the correct exposure will make it that much easier for you to work with your footage in editing. I have no idea when they're going to finish renovation. It's been happening for a while now and it's the reason why I haven't shot any episodes. It's because it's a lot of loud noise, but in comparison to when they first started, it's pretty low. So bear with me. Um, perhaps the next episode will be out when they're finished. I don't know how close they are. Thanks for watching, guys.